and welcome you all dear students let us continue the series for the subject electronic circuit earlier i have uploaded the videos related to unit number 1 and 2 for the subject electronic circuit now let us start the video series from unit number 3 onwards तो जैसे मैंने बताया इससे पहले के दो यूनिट पे मैंने ऑलरेडी वीडियो बनाए हैं सो so, हम लोग अभी थर्ड यूनिट स्टार्ट कर रहे हैं सो टुडे टॉपिक इज लिनियर वोल्टेज रेगुलेटर इट इज द टॉपिक फ्रॉम यूनिट नंबर थ्री ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सर्किट सो फर्स्ट पार्ट इज रेगुलेटेड पॉवर सप्लाई फ्रॉम द एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू वी मे एक्सपेक्ट द क्वेश्चन लाइक दिस ड्रॉ एंड एक्सप्लेन द ब्लॉक डायग्राम ऑफ रेगुलेटेड पॉवर सप्लाई अब देखो एज द नेम इंडिकेट इट इज अ रेगुलेटेड सप्लाई मीन्स इट इज प्रोड्यूसिंग सम कॉन्स्टंट आउटपुट वोल्टेज सो दिस इज द ब्लॉक डायग्राम ऑफ रेगुलेटेड पॉवर सप्लाई फ्रॉम द एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू यू नीड टू ड्रॉ दिस ब्लॉक डायग्राम एज वेल एज यू नीड टू मेन्शन वेव फॉर्म एट द आउटपुट ऑफ इच स्टेज आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन दिस ब्लॉक डायग्राम एट द इनपुट साइड आई हैव शोन ए सी सप्लाई वी नो दैट एट अवर होम वी हैव 230 थर्टी होल्ड सिंगल फेज ए सी सप्लाई द फर्स्ट ब्लॉक इज स्टेप डाउन ट्रांसफॉर्मर एज द नेम इंडिकेट इट इज स्टेपिंग डाउन द होल्टेज मतलब ये जो टू थर्टी होल्ड है ये रिड्यूस होता है कम होता है सो एंड फॉर दिस टू थर्टी होल्ड द करस्पॉन्डिंग वेव फॉर इज आइडियल साइनोसोडियल वेव फॉर्म साइन वेव एट द आउटपुट ऑफ स्टेप डाउन ट्रांसफॉर्मर जैसे मैंने बताया स्टेप डाउन मतलब वोल्टेज कम होगा सो यू आर गेटिंग द वे फॉर्म लाइक दिस दिस इज द आउटपुट ऑफ स्टेप डाउन ट्रांसफॉर्मर नेक्स्ट ब्लॉक इज रेक्टिफायर इन द अर्लियर सब्जेक्ट यू हैव स्टडीड देर आर थ्री बेसिक टाइप्स ऑफ रेक्टिफायर हाफ वेव रेक्टिफायर फुल वेव रेक्टिफायर एंड ब्रिज रेक्टिफायर यूजली वी प्रेफर ब्रिज रेक्टिफायर फॉर रेगुलेटेड पॉवर सप्लाई so output of transformer is given to the rectifier that means this type of wave form is applied at the input of bridge rectifier this signal gives the shows the output of bridge rectifier this is also called pulsating dc wave form pulsating dc wave form dekho aise yaad rakhna hai dc matlab constant level aana chahiye it is like the sine wave but negative sine wave negative part is uh, not existing so you are getting only positive cycles this is called pulsating dc wave form output of the rectifier is applied to the filter as far as this filter device is concerned uh, do remember it like this filter is a device which is used to cancel out the ripple and noise signals so in this case फॉर रेगुलेटेड पॉवर सप्लाई आई दर एल टाइप ऑफ फिल्टर ऐसे याद रखना है एल मीन्स इंडक्टर सी मीन्स कैपेसिटर सो इंडक्टिव फिल्टर और सी मीन्स कैपेसिटिव फिल्टर और एल सी मीन्स कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ इंडक्टिव एंड कैपेसिटिव फिल्टर आर यूज सो एज ए सेड फंक्शन ऑफ अ फिल्टर इज टू रिमूव द रिपल्स फ्रॉम द इनकमिंग सिग्नल तो ये जो ब्रिज रेक्टिफायर का आउटपुट है दैट इज पल्सेटिंग डीसी दिस इज अप्लाइड टू द फिल्टर सर्किट मतलब दिस इज एक्टिंग एज एन इनपुट टू द फिल्टर सर्किट दिस डायग्राम शोज आउटपुट ऑफ द फिल्टर सर्किट विच इंडिकेट दैट रिपल्स आर रिड्यूस्ड अब देखो यहां तक जितने भी ब्लॉक्स है मतलब स्टेप डाउन ट्रांसफॉर्मर देन रेक्टिफायर देन फिल्टर दिस पार्ट इज कॉल्ड अनरेग्युलेटेड पॉवर सप्लाई unregulated power supply regulated means you should get the constant value still at this point there are variations in the output this is not a constant value now next important part is voltage regulator jo hum log is unit mein detail mein learn karne wale this is just the block schematic so as the name indicates the function of this block voltage regulator is to produce the constant output voltage as shown here so this is the diagram corresponding to output of voltage regulator so output of filter filter ka output ka ye wave form hai output of filter is applied to the voltage regulator from, there are two basic types of voltage regulator one is series voltage regulator another is shunt voltage regulator presently we are just talking about the block diagram so output function of voltage regulator is to produce the constant output voltage like this so at this point you are getting constant dc voltage so ac is converted into dc and you are getting a constant dc voltage at this point here you may show some load resistors rl 
to which we are going to apply this voltage. So this is about the block diagram of regulated power supply. Another important part is linear series voltage regulator. From the exam point of view, we may expect the question like this. Draw the block diagram and explain the working of linear series voltage regulator. So this is the block diagram. For the explanation purpose, I have written few points which I am going to explain. So first step is why this is called series regulator. The major components of this block diagram are at the input side, I have shown unregulated voltage, which is denoted by V in. Then this is series pass transistor. This transistor, which is series pass transistor, is also called controlling element. This is also known as controlling element because it is used to control the output voltage. And here we are generating output voltage. Generate this output voltage is V0. One more thing. This is the best terminal of transistor. This one is collector terminal. This one and last this one is pe arrow hai. This is emitter terminal. We know that the voltage between collector and emitter of a transistor is denoted by VCE. Our concept yaad rakhna hai. In this case, this transistor is always operated in the active region. One important point is ye base terminal hai. If you reduce the base current, then VCE increases. Second, if you increase the base current, VCE reduces. Matlab, aise yaad rakhna hai. This base current and VCE are inversely proportional to each other. So base current badate to VCE kam hota hai. Base current kam karte to VCE badta hai. Then, why it is called series pass voltage regulator? This input, unregulated input voltage, and series pass element, I mean this transistor and output, all the three things are connected one after other. That means they are connected in series. So this is called series voltage regulator. Then another block is reference voltage. We are supposed to set some reference values that is this uh, that is given indicated by this reference voltage block. Next block is comparator. देखो यहां आउटपुट यहां से हम लोग रेगुलेटेड आउटपुट वोल्टेज जनरेट कर रहे हैं आई हैव शोन टू रेजिस्टर्स R1 एंड R2 दिस टू रेजिस्टर्स आल्सो वर्क्स एज वोल्टेज डिवाइडर और पोटेंशियल डिवाइडर दिस इज आल्सो कॉल्ड सैंपलिंग नेटवर्क देखो यहां पे कुछ कनेक्शन दिखा मैंने और यहां से कनेक्शन इट इज इट इज टेकन एंड इट इज अप्लाइड टू द कंपैरेटर Whatever voltage, output voltage is there, some drop will be there across R2. This drop is taken back to the input side. So it is called feedback voltage. Mm -hmm. Output se jo bhi kuch voltage aap, uh, use kar rahe ho at the input towards the input side, that is called feedback voltage. This is a comparator device. Make the thing simple. Comparator is a device which compares two things. So is liye do input chahiye. One input is given by a reference voltage. Second input is this voltage, which is output voltage. I mean, voltage drop across R2. It is applied as second input to the comparator. Jo bhi comparator ka output aega, that is called error voltage. Now we'll discuss few conditions, two conditions rather related to this operation. So that will make you simple to write the explanation. First equation, dekho, ye diagram refer kar lo. यहां से इनपुट वोल्टेज है वी इन और यहां पे हम लोग वी जीरो कैलकुलेट कर रहे हैं सो दिस वी इन एंड दिस ट्रांजिस्टर आर इन सीरीज मतलब सिंपली वी कैन राइट इट लाइक दिस वी इन मतलब दिस वोल्टेज माइनस वोल्टेज ड्रॉप अक्रॉस ट्रांजिस्टर मींस वी इन माइनस वी सी विल बी वी जीरो सो आई हैव रिटर्न वी इन माइनस वी सी इज इक्वल टू वी जीरो नाउ वी विल कंसीडर टू कंडीशंस फर्स्ट कंडीशन इफ वी जीरो वी जीरो मतलब आउटपुट वोल्टेज रेगुलेटेड आउटपुट वोल्टेज If V0 becomes greater than the desired value, जो required value उससे ज्यादा होता है In that case, देखो ये comparator का function क्या है It compares reference voltage, that is desired voltage and output voltage and generates the signal which is called error voltage. ये reference voltage fixed है So from this fixed value, I have to reduce, I have to subtract this output voltage. तो अगर V0 is greater than the desired value, मतलब रेफरेंस वोल्टेज से हम लोग ये वैल्यू सब्ट्रैक्ट करेंगे देन एरर वोल्टेज विल बी रिड्यूस्ड बिकॉज देखो ऐसे याद रख लो 
reference voltage minus output voltage will be the error voltage will be this error voltage so if this is more this re v reference is fixed then in that case error voltage decreases if error voltage is decreasing error voltage is what output of this comparator matlab ye point ye voltage decrease ho jayega it will reduce since this voltage is decreased it will reduce the base current so ib reduces ye downward arrow jahan pe maine banaya hai it indicates quantity is decreasing jahan pe upward arrow hai it indicates quantity is increasing so what i said v0 is greater than desired value error voltage reduces ib decreases so ib kam hoga to what i explained earlier vc increases to vc increase hoga look at this diagram v in fix hai vc bad jayega so v in minus greater value this will produce v0 so to v0 jo pehle se bad gaya hai which was increased earlier will be reduced because of this transistor so it is acting as a controlling element second condition if v0 is less than the desired value again refer this uh, simple equation ye agar kam hai desired value se so error voltage increases because function of comparator is to produce the error between uh, this output and this reference voltage so error voltage increases due to which ib increases and vce decreases if vc is decreases i can refer this equation v in is constant vc is decreased so compared to earlier case v0 increase matlab jo pehle v0 kam ho gaya tha wo abhi badh jayega so this series pass uh, transistor basically controls the output voltage matlab badh raha hai output voltage to kam karega aur kam hai output voltage to it will increase the output voltage so this is the block diagram and working of linear series voltage regulator now let us discuss some important parameters related to linear voltage regulator so there are four important parameters first is load regulation <clears throat> it is defined as the change in output voltage when load current is changed from zero to maximum value matlab regulator ka jo output voltage hai usme change hoga depending on the change in the load current from zero to maximum value or it is also called uh, there is a change in load current or there is a change in condition from no load to full load so this is called load regulation second line or source regulation it is related to change in regulated load voltage due to change in the line voltage in the specified range of 230 plus minus 10 percent ab dekho ye word yaad rakhna line voltage matlab we know that the input available voltage standard voltage is 230 volt so what we have written this line voltage in the specified range matlab 230 plus minus 10 percent is allowed so चेंज इन रेगुलेटेड रेगुलेटेड मतलब हम लोग वोल्टेज रेगुलेटर यूज कर रहे हैं उसका आउटपुट किसी एक लोड को कनेक्ट कर रहे हैं सो चेंज इन रेगुलेटेड लोड वोल्टेज ड्यू टू चेंज इन द लाइन वोल्टेज लाइन वोल्टेज मीन अवेलेबल इनपुट वोल्टेज विच इज टू थर्टी वोल्ट इन द स्पेसिफाइड रेंज दैट इज टू थर्टी प्लस माइनस टेन परसेंट एट अ कॉन्स्टंट लोड करंट मीन्स लोड करंट मस्ट बी कॉन्स्टंट एट दैट टाइम सो दिस इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ लाइन और सोर्स रेगुलेशन a uh, formula is percentage sr that is percentage source regulation is vlh vl is load voltage h is uh, it is related to higher line voltage vll again vl is load voltage l is related to lower line voltage or low line voltage upon v nominal v nominal is the nominal voltage Uh, under some typical conditions into 100 because we are expressing the value in 100 or uh, in percentage then output resistance ab dekho sirf ye formula yaad rakhna hai you can write the definition on your own output resistance is denoted by r0 this notation delta represents change v0 represents output voltage il represents load current ye vertical line hai read kaise karna hai at this condition at constant v in matlab input voltage and temperature so how to write the definition output resistance is the ratio of change in output voltage to the change in load current at constant input voltage and temperature then last parameter is ripple rejection basically ripple rejection ripple is unwanted thing 
रिपल रिजेक्शन इज द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ द सर्किट टू रिड्यूस डाउन द रिपल कंटेंट्स और टू रिजेक्ट द रिपल कंटेंट्स सो इट इज डिफाइंड एज द रेशियो ऑफ रिपल कंटेंट इन आउटपुट टू द रिपल कंटेंट इन द इनपुट वोल्टेज now last part of this session is comparison between unregulated power supply and regulated power supply so this table gives the comparison between these two types of uh, power supplies for unregulated power supply first is fluctuation in output voltage due to change in load or input matlab if load is changing or input is changing then there are fluctuations in the output voltage if we are using unregulated power supply whereas in case of regulated power supply as the name indicates it is regulated power supply that means there are no fluctuations and you are getting the steady state output second less precise control voltage for unregulated power supply whereas you can get a precise voltage control for regulated power supply then it is uh, less energy efficient whereas regulated power supply is more energy efficient then there are no inbuilt protection circuit for unregulated power supply whereas in case of regulated power supply the inbuilt protection circuit like uh, over voltage over current protection circuits are available next unregulated power supply contains simple designing so they are less expensive compared to the regulated power supply applications see whenever there is no critical requirement as far as low ripples are concerned or uh, steady state constant precisely constant output voltage voltage is not required there this simple designing that is unregulated power supply is used for example led i mean led displays then relays dc motors etc whereas whenever you want a precise control on the output voltage then regulated power supplies are used for example uh, mobile uh, charges then televisions and computers and so on so dear students that's it for today's session so thank you thanks a lot for watching this video